Welcome to Instant Online. We are going to see problems on quadratic equation. Example, the sum of two numbers is 8 and the sum of their squares is 34. taking one number as x form an equation in x and hence find numbers. Solution The sum of the numbers is eight. So it takes B number sum of number is eight. So other number 8 minus x. The sum of the square is 34. So x squared plus 8 minus x the whole squared equal to 34. So x squared plus 64 minus 16x plus x squared equal to 34. So 2x squared minus 16x plus 64 minus 34 equal to 0. So x squared divided by 2 x squared 8x plus 15 equal to 0. So multiplication is 15 addition is minus 8. So x minus 3 into x minus 5 equal to 0. So x equal to 3 comma 5. Next example, the difference of two positive integer is three and Sum of the squares is eight nine. Taking the smaller integer x form a quadratic equation. and find the number. Solution Let greater number x smaller number y So, difference between 
them is 3 so x minus y equal to 3 the sum of squares of this number is 89 so x squared plus y squared equal to 89 so already we know that x, x minus y equal to 3 so y is equal to x minus 3 or x equal to 3 y minus y plus 3 so y plus 3 the whole squared plus y squared equal to 89 so y squared plus 6y plus 9 y squared plus y squared equal to 89 so 2y squared plus 6y plus 9 9 plus 9 minus 89 equal to 0 so y squared plus 3y minus 40 equal to 0 plus 2 common we can take outside so factor this case is multiplication is minus 40 addition is plus 3 so y plus 8 equal to 0 so y is equal to 5 or y is equal to minus 8 so y is equal to minus 8 is not possible so only y is equal to 5 positive value so x equal to y plus 3 so x equal to 8 so the numbers are 5 and 8 Next example. The area of a rectangular field is two thousand square meter and it's Perimeter is 180 meter. Form a quadratic equation by taking the length of the field as x and solve it to find the length and breadth of the field. Solution length of the field x let x be the length of the field the perimeter of the rectangle is 1 180 is given 180 meter given so 2 into l plus b equal to 180 x be the length so l equal to x plus b equal to 180 so the value of b equal to 90 minus x because 2 okay, 180 divided by 2 90 so b equal to 90 minus x the area of rectangle given 2000 meter squared so l into b equal to 2000 x into 90 minus x equal to 2000 so x squared minus 90 x minus 2000 equal to 0 so x squared minus 50 x minus 40 x minus 2000 equal to 0 so x minus 50 into x minus 40 we can write that would equal to 0 so x equal to 50 or x equal to 40 when L equal to X equal to 50, B equal to 90 minus 50, that value is 40.
Come on, next time. Two square have sides p centimeter and p plus five centimeter. The sum of their squares is six twenty five square meter. Find the side of the squares. Find. The sides of the square. Solution. The square have sides p and p plus five. Given p and p plus five. The sum of the square. Is six twenty five. So p square plus p plus five the whole square equal to six twenty five. So p square plus p square plus ten p plus twenty five equal to six twenty five. So from this we can write p square plus five p minus three hundred equal to zero. Because two can take outside and cancel, so factorize this one. This p plus twenty into p minus fifteen equal to zero. So p is equal to fifteen comma minus twenty. Since p is the side of a square, so p is not equal to minus twenty. So p is positive, that is fifteen. So p plus five. That is twenty. Another example. Divide fifty into two parts. Such that sum of the reciprocal is one by twelve. Find the number. Solution. Let x be the number. The sum of two numbers is fifty. Number is fifty. So other number. T minus x. Sum of the reciprocal is one by twelve. So one by x plus one by fifty minus x equal to one by twelve. So cross multiply. Fifty minus x. So twelve into fifty minus x. Fifty minus x. Plus twelve x equal to x into fifty minus x. So six hundred minus twelve x plus twelve x equal to fifty x minus x squared. So x squared minus fifty x plus six hundred equal to zero. So multiplication six hundred addition is fifty. So thirty twenty. So x minus thirty into x minus twenty equal to zero. So x equal to twenty or thirty. If x equal to thirty, if x equal to twenty, then another number is fifty minus twenty thirty. If x equal to thirty, if another number is twenty, so the numbers are twenty and thirty. 